Hey, what is up, everybody? I hope you had a really good Christmas. I know that I did. One of the things that did come out on Christmas that I haven't covered yet was ETA Hen 1.9b, along with Items Flow version 1.08. So let's go ahead and let's see what is inside this. So he states here that 1.9b has been released. And one thing to note here is, is that this goes from 1.x all the way up to 4.x. So previously, those that were on 1.x and 2.x, obviously, they weren't able to use the features of ETA HEN. Now, there was a couple of things that was changed, and there's a full change log right here, which lists absolutely everything. But some of the highlights here was a remote play menu. So once you load that up, there is this remote play option here. So this is great for setting up devices to use remote play. There is this lot mode, a lot mode. It says case stuff or hen only mode. So this is if you only want to run basically game backups and none of the other stuff. You can use this mode right here. There is an external hard disk drive menu, stability improvements, and then much more. So let's look at all of the images really quick. So there is that test kit menu. This will obviously only work if you have a test kit PlayStation 5. We talked about the remote play here. Right here is what some of the plugins looks like. So PS5 debug, which is also just came out is available as well. And then you can come right here to utilities. And there is the option here for the external or disk drive. And then just to wrap up here, the recommended self-host exploits looks like idle sauces UMTX would be one that is recommended. Now, along with that, there also came items flow 1.08. And with this, there was a couple of things for 2.x. So 2.x only added game decryption support to the items flow dumper. So this is to dump those games like Devil May Cry 5 and Demon Souls, and then added support for the directory depth patch, added extra checks to make sure the game executables are fake signed, and then a few more updates and then some fixes there. So you will want to go ahead and download the items flow 1.08 from this link right here. So Go ahead and do that and let's jump over to the PlayStation 5 and take a look at this. Okay, so I'm just going to jailbreak using Idle Salsa's site here for the 3.0 to the 4.x version as mine is version 4.03. We'll give this a second here and we should be finished up. And by the way, if you are using Idle Salsa's UMTX, that will work just as well. You will see that there is an ETA hen there, and it should show that it is on 1.9b. So that's the one that we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. ETA hen 1.9b by Lightning Mods is now running. Now we will need to install the latest version, anyways. And for this version, I have 1.07. We do need to put 1.08 on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and delete my version. Now, if you went ahead and copied that over to your USB drive, you should be able just to continue following along here. So we're going to go over to debug settings, package installer from going right here. So we're going to click on this. So now that has finished up, we are going to go straight over to the items flow game manager since now we are on 1.08 and we'll press OK there. And now it's going to load in some of the games that we've got here. So up there in the top right hand corner, we can see the items flow version 1.8 is currently running. Okay, and so now this would obviously be a great time if you want to put in one of those discs such as Devil May Cry 5 or Demon Souls or some of those that couldn't be decrypted and try to decrypt those now. 
Obviously, I know that at least those two games works as is. There wasn't really anything else inside of Items Flow that was new with this release outside of it working with ETA Hen 1.9b. Uh, one other thing just to quickly tell you is, is that you could go into options or settings here and check for updates that way too if you would like to update items flow by doing that. So for now, let's just go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our home here and let's go to settings and we're going to go down to debug settings and from here we can see this is where the ETA hen toolbox is so for a majority of the ETA hen features that was talked about most of them are right in here so one of the things that was new was this remote play so if I hit remote play here then right here I've got my connections if I wanted to set up remote play. Now, if your console is still offline activated, I have a video you can watch where you can activate it. But from here, I could load up maybe my PlayStation portal, for example, and I could connect to this jailbroken PlayStation 5 because now this is just baked in and it's just a lot easier. Now, you could obviously do it other ways before, this is just one of the ways that you can access that now today. Now, if you also see on this menu here, there is a test kit menu, and this one is brand new. It's okay if you go ahead and click on it. It won't do anything because it'll just say this menu is not currently available on retail consoles. But Lightning Mod had done some overlays for the test kit, which was pretty neat, but again, you would need a test kit menu in order to get that to work now another thing that was new here was was that if you go underneath utilities here and you scroll down you will see there is external hard disk drive so in the external hard disk drive menu here there is an unmount so i can unmount my drive so i had a usb drive inserted so now i have just now unmounted it that you could take a look at. So let's try format real quick. And so it says USB 3.0 or higher mass storage is required. So if you do press OK there, then it will format it. OK, and going back here, the other option that was new that was in here was the activate lot mode. So this kills all ETA HIN services and plugins. So case stuff or HIN only mode. So you can just turn that on by toggling it just right there. And yeah, for the most part, um, that is what I have found that has been new in this release here. And yeah, that is pretty much going to do it for ETA Hen 1.9b. Lots of different contributors here. So thanks to all of you for contributing. You at least get a little extra airtime over here on my channel. Well, anyways, thank you so very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Michael, out!